such a thing as a loophole somewhere. Mm. Mr. Will May himself is on record to have said that he had no contract with the state or the government of Ghana relative to this whole transaction. That's his own statement that he placed on public record, I think with an interview with Kwame Sefakai on Kokoko. So really, why is your summary is okay? I'm not sure what we be but Mr. Wuyumi and his companies. <laughs> but I think perhaps what you meant was that he was affiliated to certain companies that were involved formally and officially in the transaction. In this case, we may be talking of uh, Waterville and to some extent, Austro Invest, Invest you know? And if you like, uh, Empower Park. Park, which really he was in the owner, was one Ray Smith who was connected to the Austro Invest entity, you know? So Mr. Wabe had no business writing to a successive government demanding some monies that were due him, allegedly uh, owed him. He had no business doing that. And indeed, it is those who were in charge of the successive administration who are really the problem, as far as I'm concerned. And I can see my brother shaking his head. <laughs> but these are recorded. Even the Supreme Court, in passing its judgment, actually took a shot not just about the lawyers, but the attorney general of the day and others. Yeah. And if you read the records, you will see that things that were processed in defense of Mr. Wayne against the advice of the counsel for Waterville, Mr. Tete, <coughs> you will see that but for those who were part of the administration, and Wayne's own testimony at the High Court, he talks about a committee that was formed at a castle, and it was headed by a good friend of mine, Mr. Alex Sebefia, mm -hmm. who was on this program some time ago defending Woyumi and insisting that Woyumi had a case and that he ought to have been paid those monies. So on this very show, you remember Barton Woodrow telling the whole world that Woyumi had a case. Deputy Attorney General then. then who subsequently became Deputy Speaker of Parliament. Then, of course, Madame Betty Mould herself, based on her conduct. So there's enough evidence to show, to vindicate the point I was making, which my brother was shaking his head to, that functionaries, and I'm not talking of the administration in its entirety, I'm talking of functionaries, people who have been given positions of responsibility to ensure that public resources were used and used for what they were required for, failed in discharging their duties. It's as simple as that. Mm. Mr. Wayumi's connection to this M Power Park uh, agreement between Waterville said, he was paid for. I'm glad Randy I be here because he led the charge in the exposure. He was paid for and he acknowledged it signed. So relative to that whole transaction mm -hmm. or the re rehabilitation of stadiums or construction, his case was finished. He took advantage of the fact that the previous government had existed and put in that thing. And the new authorities, those who were in charge, did not do due diligence to double check that what he was saying was true. Indeed, at one stage, a deputy information minister told the whole world that the documents were missing. The documents, the file on who you may were missing. So that's what it is. Mm. There's no need. I, I'm surprised. Mr. Wayumi has some. Is it courage? Is it misplaced aggression? I don't know. But he's a very interesting personality. He's been able to sustain suits yeah. since 2009. I will grant him that. So but, but it's a misplaced aggression against nobody. Self inflicted challenge on his, himself. Look, we said it here, that he can run, but there will be no place for him to hide. You remember when he was going to ICC and the African Human Rights Court? We said it here on this very table, that a man can run, but there will be no place for him to hide. For me, what has happened is good enough. And I, I, I left, I salute Martin Amido. 
with all his challenges, with all his imperfections, with all his limitations. The truth of the matter is that it was the Auditor General of this country mm. that had indicated that unlawful, or if you like, uh, payment, if I may put it so, because of the Supreme Court decision, I can comfortably say unlawful. And then Mr. Japon pointed to that disclosure that had already been made in the Auditor General's report and left it there. It's the media led by people like Randy Abbey who went now for the documents and did a huge case out of the matter. Subsequently, it would all have meant that we, but for Martin going to the court. And he went through the process seriously. So he stands out. Of course, based on the Supreme Court's ruling or judgment, issues began to happen. The question of attaching his properties and all, and I, admittedly it began January 2015. But new processes had to be filed by Godfred Odami to galvanize the process for us to reach this stage. Because of course, Mr. Woyomi kept fighting. You pass here, he passes there. He passes here, he goes there. So there was a battle, and it needed a certain commitment and determination to ensure that we would reach where we have reached. I'm not even sure that we are going to be able to retrieve the money in this entirety. I'm not even sure about that. But at least it's better than none at all. My final take on this, and I've been saying it, and fortunately for me, Martin, Martin agreed with me, that there's what I call a missing link. I don't know you are the lawyers. I'm not a lawyer. So I don't know even if it makes sense to make this proposition I'm going to make. But those who collaborated with him, you remember when the case went to court originally, there was a nolly protocol that was filed. And when it was filed, Mr. Boyunumi was the only one rearrested and charged. People like Asimini, the director of finance, then at the Minister of Finance, or his Liga, director of Liga, Liga. at Minister of Finance, uh, Nikwe uh, Tete, yes. and two or three others were left off the hook. Nikwe, whose account or wife's account was a beneficiary. 400,000 was traced, was traced to. to as payment from Boyo. Yes. And then, of course, the politicals, quote unquote, the Betty Moles, the Batino Drews, ought to have questions to answer. It's as simple as that. Mm. We should interrogate that missing link. Look, Yoko did a report, an interim one. They never f finalized. They didn't give us a final report. All those things enabled Woyume to up his misplaced aggression, thinking that the state was either impotent or incapable or both in handling him. So to be honest with you, my view is that we haven't finished. We finished maybe chasing the man who really took the cash. But he didn't walk to the bank, as he's been saying, mm. with a gun Godfrey, on top of something. that that because of what the Supreme Court has just recently found, where when his properties were being sought to be attached, the, there was a claim by UT Bank that the properties had become theirs. And now eventually the court found in Justice Benning's decision found that there was a collusion to try to conceal the ownership of the property that in fact they belong to Wyoming and did not belong to UT Bank because they, they, had, they had allegedly done a sale agreement transferring the property to UT Bank. Nonetheless, sometime after that sale had Fantastic. been done, Wyoming still manages to use the same property to secure a loan. Yeah. A property belonging to UT Bank has been used as a collateral by the person who long ago has sold it to secure a loan. Yes. So Godfrey is saying on that basis, they still are able to proceed to court to file, as it were, criminal charges. Yes, you are the lawyers, the conduct of the banks and all those involved in that. You, you can define it and ask, tell me whether any provision in our statutes could capture that make them liable for prosecution. You may have to educate me on that, but in my commonsensical way, I think there's something fishy out mm. there. Final point. I heard Mr. Oyeme say, Kafu Didi. Did he say that? Yes. But Kafu Ndi a Benkwai. This, I recall, happened in the Busia era. Kafu Didi, but Kafu Ndi a Benkwai. Okay, so you hold on there briefly.